Here we go. Welcome back to Champion News Talk Radio. We are brought to you by championnews.net. You know, my brain is spinning here, Rick, because you were talking about the symbiotic relationship between terrorism and drug trafficking. That doesn't make sense. Michael asked you what their benefits are to each other, but there's a connection. Money, power, guns, and uh, more money, power, and more guns. Uh, in the international narco trafficking organizations are now financing a large part of al-Qaeda. And also the gun running that's going on internationally is financing al-Qaeda. Uh, not only the opium poppy trade out of southern Afghanistan and southwestern, southwestern Afghanistan, but there's a very large Hispanic conversion rate in the United States to Islam. Hispanic conversion? Yes. They're good Catholics. Uh, there's a big conversion rate going on. They're coming back and forth across the border, not just from the United, not just from Mexico and other countries coming in the United States, but there's a large Hispanic transmigratory movement going across the border down into Central America to receive paramilitary training from these Al Qaeda operatives in these training camps in South America, particularly in Venezuela. Wow, this is frightening. This is extremely. It frightening. goes very deeply. Uh, you're wearing uh, Islamic symbols on your ears. Did you notice that? I got my little moon and stars. Yes, you are. Those are the two it's symbols a crescent. of Islam. Crescent moon and the five-point star. It, this is just a coincidence. This is a coincidence, but a lot of people don't understand how ingrained it is in our culture. I like stars and moons. Yeah. Well, um, <clears throat> this is <laughs> off the track here. Uh, yeah. I, I like, well, let, let, I, I want to get back. I, I like get, pink clovers and green that, hearts, that is, this, this, I did not plan this. Today. I want to get back on this because... I mean, part of the drug trade is having to move a lot of illegal drugs, which can be very dangerous. Would you say, Rick, that they are actually using Islamic terrorists to help move drugs and, and that that's one of the ways that these Al terrorists... Al-Qaeda is providing the training, okay? And they're becoming the best trained terrorists in the world. Wow. And a lot of people don't understand that the, the foundations of Al-Qaeda training were actually carried out in the Warsaw Pact nations in the 1970s and 1980s and the late 1960s, okay? People don't understand this, okay? Uh, the Warsaw Pact uh, were, were providing a lot of the training in the 70s for the PLO and for Hezbollah and for Black September, which was also here in the United States. The people that planned the Munich Massacre there were some of those people in 1985 going to university at SIU at Carbondale. Let me, let me bring out something that's very important here. Is that uh, America is a very complex society. I mean, we're technical and, uh, you know, we're communicating with satellites. And uh, that uh, controls our power systems and uh, response systems and all kinds of things. Uh, the complexity of that is easily upset by uh, dedicated people that don't care if they're caught. And, and commit suicide or a shot. They don't really give a damn with this. They want to be caught. Well, it's, no, they don't, they, they don't care if they're caught because when they're caught, when they're caught, they don't care if they're caught. They would rather die for Allah. Because it the, the, the gives them. Listen to me. Uh, yeah. That makes us very vulnerable to this bunch of nuts that think they're okay to, uh, you know, be killed uh, for this purpose. They're being trained uh, in suicide squads. Is a really we call them murder suicide bombers. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it's very easy to do it, and and uh, we've seen examples, of course, of those people that ran into the towers. Oh gosh. And uh, other things that are happening. Israel was going through that. But continuum. you get enough people out here <clears throat> uh, going after our power centers and all, uh, you could make uh, big problems in the United States. Well, what makes me listen? What makes me upset about all of this is that. Once our country was Roy Rogers, it was American, and it was tough, and don't fool around with Roy Rogers. What we've got isn't a sissy as a president. We've got a guy that's given signs that he's at least part Muslim, and he doesn't want to project America as being a tough country. And what's happening is our country is being subverted and changed, and it's in subtle ways by taking Listen, this, this business with the IRS pick, picking on the Tea Party people and, and the conservatives, it's, uh, it put that down. This is part of 
a conspiracy coming out of our central government to put down people, the Tea Party, and the people that believe in fundamental uh, Americanism and uh, the uh, Christian and Jewish religions well, that's what people that are believe. part of our culture. People are believing it, but they won't say it yet. And the news media won't go until the... But what you were talking... Are we being taped? Yes, but what you were talking about, Jack, about this president, Benghazi. Benghazi. How come two weeks before an election, he told... He, they, they, they did not let these Marines go in. And of course not. Uh, the, that, that's a corruption of, of, our, uh, of, of our government, that they stopped that so that it wouldn't interfere with the election of Mr. Obama. It's the same thing with the IRS thing, that they prevented uh, Tea Party people from forming organizations that could handle money into their activities. And the IRS, a government agency, was the one that was persecuting them for years. And that's how Obama got elected. You know, Rick, we've got so much to talk about. Real, we've 10 seconds. What are your thoughts on Benghazi? Um, my belief, my personal belief, is that the stand down came from uh, the White House. Ooh, no Heard it here first, kids. <laughs> yeah, we'll be right back after the break. Stay with us. Don't go away. My name is Jerry Kahn. I've been a teacher in Illinois for 22 years, and I've received thousands of dollars in refunds from the union. If you're an Illinois teacher, did you know that you can get a large refund on the dues you have been paying into the teachers' union? That can be as much as 80% of the dues you have paid. In order for teachers to get a big refund from the teachers' union, go to teacherunionrefund.org. Getting a big refund check will help you and your family. So if you're a teacher, do like I did. Go to teacherunionrefund.org. It's your money. Paid for by championnews.net. 